What's going on, guys? Welcome into my Monday night football review re recap. My quick thoughts and discussion. Every time I say my quick thoughts or discussion, it ends up being an eight minute video or something like that. Uh, there's about there's about a minute and forty eight seconds left in the game. Falcons up thirteen. Uh, they're down here at the four. They don't seem like they're going to score. I just want to get this video up. Uh, takes a few minutes to have it render and all of that stuff and uh, have it actually up. So this game is done. Uh, the only thing is we'll just figure out how many points the Falcons are actually going to put up here. First thing first, I want to talk about something that's not football related, sports related. And uh, I talked about Jose, Jose Fernandez. Did just a, what the hell was that? I think that was my charger. <laughs> I think that was my charger. Uh, the Jose Fernandez tragedy, man. I talked about that on uh, my last po my last podcast. Go ahead and check that out somewhere in the playlist. One of my recent videos I uploaded. Um, and just the just how tr tragic that was. Uh, but tonight they resume play. The Miami Marlins resume play tonight. And they uh, played the Mets, and D. Gordon, he started his leadoff man first inning. He started his a bat off. Uh, I think it was the exact helmet Jose Fernandez wore, and the same batting stance, batting as a right hander. Took a ball for the first pitch, and then he turned around and then got into his batting stance. And crushed the home run. And uh, as he circled around the bases, uh, was got was emotional and uh, teared up. And uh, in my podcast, I said, I don't think I seen him play. I'm a Yankees fan. I live in the Northeast, so I don't really. Wa okay, the Monday night game has just ended. Uh, I think it was still a 13 point victory for the Falcons. Uh, Ten years after that. Uh, the anniversary of the Superdome being reopened. But I don't think I've seen him play. Probably an all-star game or whatnot. But I just knew from being a baseball fan and things like that how great he was and what he was on to becoming. And uh, I just feel for his family. I, I really do, and uh, you know that that video clip I seen of D Gordon, that was something something very special. Uh, I think I just got a notification for the Marlins game just ending, and uh, the Marlin the Marlins leave their hats on mound to honor Jose Fernandez after Monday's game, as fans chant Jose. Just tragic, man. I uh, I feel for his family. Someone that works so hard to, you know, doing something he loved and uh, having a way for his, a better life for his family. And uh, the guy just announced he was uh, his girlfriend and himself was expecting a baby and uh, just tragic, man. And, um, so I feel for his family, despite never seeing the guy play. And uh, just just a real sad story. But uh, Monday night game, we had Falcons versus Saints. Ten years after the Superdome being reopened uh, after the effects of Cur Hurricane Katrina down in uh, New Orleans. Uh, so I didn't get to see the start of the game. Just the start of the game, the Falcons and the Saints players made this unity circle. Uh I was coming home from work, so I didn't get to see it. I seen the Saints three and out, and uh, it it was very it was a great f way to end the first half for the Falcons. A great way. The Saints can't get any pressure. When you want to talk about a team that is heavenly, heavenly, <laughs> a, a team that's just flawed, a team that's I think I might have to cut off the TV here. Excuse me.
Okay, here we go. Um, this this team when you watch this team play, they're flawed all over. They they can't get pressure with four. They bring a backer. They can't get pressure with five. They can't tackle on the outsides. They can't defend well. <sighs> they're dropping passes on offense. A team that's very flawed. Uh. Drew Brees is still getting it done. Guy was over 300 yards today. Uh, I think what was he? Uh, Brees, Brees, Brees. 30 of 30 of 39, 312 for Drew Brees tonight. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's not. Yeah, wait a minute. Hold on. What's this? They didn't play each other. This is last year's. Why did they give me last year's box score? That's ridiculous. ESPN gave me. I'm on the uh, ESPN website. They gave me last year's. Yeah, this is last year. Here we go. How are they doing? Uh, what was Breeze? Can I get the box score, please? Hey, there we go. Uh, just a weird box score for Yahoo Sports. Breeze was on point tonight. This guy's still great. Uh, 36 for 54, 376, three touchdowns, a uh, pick six that kind of sealed the deal. Uh, at the end, 20 for 30, 242 touchdowns for Matt Ryan tonight. The Saints are flawed. They're eighth. They're on three, fourth in NFC South. Uh, I, I didn't predict them to do anything, but they're they're very flawed. They're missing a lot of things, but they I guess you can say they have the the main ingredient, and that's a a great coach and a great quarterback, but a great way to end the first half for the uh, for the Falcons. The Falcons had a very great uh, play calling going on near the uh, end zone tonight. They scored five straight touchdowns, uh, six straight possessions scoring, which is tremendous. They were spreading out in near the end zone. They were just spreading the Saints out and doing whatever they wanted. Uh, most of it came from runs, zone reads with Matt Ryan, and uh, a shovel pass for a touchdown. The things the Falcons, I'm sitting here watching this game, things the Falcons can't stop. They can't stop seam routes down the middle. They can't do it. Kobe Fleener uh, had a great game tonight, which I should should have mentioned him along with Drew Brees. He had a great game, and uh, they can't stop draw plays. They can't stop it. Uh so already that just makes me think anyone that can really run the ball up the middle, they, I don't know if they're running a, I don't think they're running a wide nine in Atlanta, uh, but they can't stop the, the, uh, the draw. So it's two and one for the Falcons. Uh, they're two and one on the season. Are they leading? I think they're leading their division right now. Yeah, they're first in their in their the uh, division. The Falcons to me just seem like a team. They haven't been the same in my eyes since they got smoked. Since they got smoked by Aaron Rodgers a few years ago in the uh, playoffs, where were they thirteen and three, and got smoked by Aaron Rodgers and the Packers. I they just haven't been the same team. Uh, new coach last year. Uh, coming from uh, the defensive coordinator coming from Seattle. Totally drawing a blank on his name, but I'm not going to look it up. As soon as I, it's going to bother me. So I'm in, a, I'm going to have to end up looking this up. Yeah, it's bothering me. I got a, Dan Quinn. All right. Dan, Dan Quinn, Dan Quinn. It was going to bother me. Uh, but offensively, they look better. Kyle Shanahan, offensive coordinator now. Great play calling tonight. Julio Jones was really a non-factor, did not need to be. I keep looking at this wrong box score here. Um, they, he really didn't to need to be a factor tonight. They didn't need him to be. One catch, uh, 16, 16 yards tonight. I don't think that one catch came until like probably the second or third quarter. But they're on top of the division. That division looks really weird right now. Uh, my, my LA Rams... Took a W from the Bucks yesterday in Carolina. I I don't have a damn clue what's going on in Carolina. I guess it's that that Super Bowl jinx or or Super Bowl history where teams that 
one out of the two teams that make it to the Super Bowl, they're not going to make it to the playoffs. I think that's – was that what the uh, – is that what the history says or or something like that? I think it's something like that. One of the two teams that make it to the Super Bowl, the next year they don't make it to the playoffs. Some Something like that. Uh, I actually picked them to be – I believe it was the second best team – in the NFC and to obviously win their division. I picked Seattle to be the first best team in the NFC. Look at how my prediction is going. Three weeks into the season. Um the Saints, man, they you know, right before the season start, you just drew Brees and the contract extension and things like that. I could have sworn maybe just my mind, but I could have sworn they just was going through that with Drew Brees. Like three years ago about a con- new contract and he got I think he got what four or five years a hundred million dollars or something like that and now he's getting a contract extension at some point you have to look around and say I mean you, you got to get some help somewhere else this guy everyone knows New Orleans is throwing the ball they got to get some help somewhere else especially uh on the defensive side they can't buy a stop they can't they cannot buy a stop third down and long doesn't matter third down and long throw it underneath and they can't tackle anyone uh so atlanta they're in a a, not atlanta uh excuse me new orleans new orleans is a in a real uh, tough situation personnel wise gotta get some guys that can cover they really do. That season when they won the uh, Super Bowl, they were not only were they this high-powered offense and uh, Reggie Bush making plays on special teams and out the backfield at, at the running back position, but they were able to make guys, make teams turn the ball over. They, I, got, I think, I'm, if I can remember correctly, they were the best team turn, turnover differential-wise and in takeaways. And, uh, you obviously seen that with an interception with Tracy Porter to seal the for su- for the Super Bowl, uh, but they need some help. That team needs some help. Atlanta looks better than last year, especially offensive offensively. They look better. Uh, so who knows? Right now, that division it's Atlanta's for the taking because Carolina is they look like crap. Uh, Buccaneers, you know, they're probably uh, you know two years away two years away depending on what Cam Newton and Carolina because Cam, Cam Newton's going to have a long career so just depending on them but uh, as of this season that division is up for grabs you know I thought it was a, a foregone conclusion that that Carolina would take it easily but who knows now so uh, 13 point victory for the uh, Atlanta Falcons tonight, uh, they look great offensively. Uh, spreading, spreading the Saints out near the end zone. Great mixing plays. Interception, pick six in the fourth quarter to seal the deal. And uh, Drew Brees was great. Kobe Flanner was great tonight. I think he, he had, did he, didn't he have a fumble? If I can remember correctly, uh, but he had a great game nonetheless and uh Devontae Freeman 296 yards four touchdowns tonight <sighs> Saints need some help and the Falcons have the NFC South for their it, it's up to them it's really up to them guys get in a comment section let me know your thoughts about tonight's game I did not watch that horse shit debate I was not gonna watch that Drew Brees was throwing a football I'm not gonna watch the these two fools go back and forth. I wasn't going to do it. I wasn't going to sit there and listen to Hillary Clinton's horse shit and Donald Trump. Watch Donald Trump's facial expressions. I'm not going to pick that. I'm not going to pick the circus over Drew Brees throwing a football. I don't give a shit. If, if Drew Brees, like I said, the Saints is a flawed team. He's kind of like the only bright spot on the team except for a couple of other guys. But for the most part, it's Drew Brees. If Drew Brees throwing a football, I'm I'm gonna watch it. If it's flag football and Drew Brees is quarterback, I'm gonna watch it. I'm not watching the circus. I can sit there and watch it, sh- the short clips somewhere on YouTube. 
But I didn't watch the debate. Uh, I watched the game. <laughs> I watched the flawed uh, New Orleans Saints that can could not stop a nosebleed, couldn't buy, couldn't buy or stop. So, guys, get in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts about the uh, week three. Uh, my Rams picked up a win. We're two and one. Let me know your thoughts about uh, tonight's game. Hell, let me know your thoughts about the debate. Probably, it's probably not a good thing to get political, but uh, if you want to, why not, right? And uh, if you're new here, subscribe, like this video. And if you're old here, thanks for listening. Thanks for subscribing. Like this video. Share this video. Uh, I should say, yeah, well, it's coming out in video form, right? But whatever it is. Uh, guys, thanks for listening. And uh, I got a review coming up that I have to do. And uh, catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for listening.